How you doing, YouTube? Now in Massive Beer Reviews. Back with mystery beers. Look at these goddamn mystery beers. Love them. No idea what's in here. All I know is it's wrapped in a paper towel. Super ghetto style. Love it. Thank you very much. Who? Mark. Mark from Ohio sent these out to me. Um, he uh, was uh, very, what's the word I'm looking for? In, t in, 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 um, in tune with my desire to do more mystery beers. Uh, almost like perfect timing. He sent these off. It was right when I'm doing my last set of mystery beers from Chris. So thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it. Let's dive into it. No idea what's inside there. We're going to find out. So I'm going to drink it and uh, we're going to talk about it. So um, I'm getting a little bit of a vibe from the beers he's sending me. Um, he sent me some crazy killer beers, like beers that I would kind of venture out in the world and wait in line for to be perfectly honest with you. a lot of barrel aid stuff the first one i won't well actually by the time i put this up it'll be up the first one i i opened and he sent me was a uh, treehouse beer oddly enough way closer to, to them than uh than he is but um after that it's been a lot of big kind of barrel aid stuff so i don't know if he's gonna stick with that theme or not but it kind of looks it so far uh what do we have here uh it didn't generate much head on there it's got a rich dark color but i don't know if it's a stout um, it, it, it's more of a rich dark brown than it is kind of like a really dark black. Um, a little bit of kind of a khaki colored malted malt ball colored head if it were there. Um, but yeah, legs for days. So from a distance, she looks like she got some ABVs. That's what the kids say nowadays. It's kind of pretty. Let's get a whiff. Oh yeah, that's barrel aged. That is barrel aged, my friends. This is. Oh, yeah. It's got that rich. Like, I've talked about this barrel in the past as being one of my favorite barrels. It's like, it's like a, you got like a stave, a charred stave, and you like rubbed it with like kind of baker's chocolate, a little bit of milk chocolate, and that kind of smell it has to me. So there's a little bit of smokiness in there. A little bit of charriness going on. You get that soft kind of chocolate. Not necessarily baker's chocolate, but a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, it's got to be bourbon. It's got to be. I'm getting that kind of sweet cherry vibes. That kind of verge into kind of almost like pruny date raisininess. To me, that's a sign of one, might be age, but two, also bourbon. It's probably a stout, but I wouldn't be surprised at, once I taste it. It might verge into the barley wine territory because... I'm not really getting much. I'm getting malt, but I'm not getting a ton of roasted malt, but I think it's in there. It's more barrel present in the nose than anything else. Actually, I'm going to flip that. I'm going to go, it's barley wine it's on the nose, but it might be a stout. I should have flipped that. That's what I actually mean. It smells absolutely fucking delicious. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah. That's just, yeah, rich, decadent. That bourbon barrel is playing absolutely fantastic. Big, bold cherry, that nice kind of smoky charriness, that chocolate's coming through, tons of vanilla, tons of coconut in there. But it's giving me an aged vibe to it. I think if this beer doesn't have a little bit of time on it, I think it spent extra time in the barrel. I don't, I don't think it's a six-month jammer. I think this spent a good portion of time in the barrel. Um, again, on the style, at this point, it's got to be barley wine. It's got to be. But it's almost like a blend. Let's go there. Um, I think it might be a blend. I think it might be a blend of a stout and a barley wine. That's what I'm kind of getting here. I feel like there's some kind of extra sweet component to it, too. Sure, that could be all coming from the barrel. Or I should say the spirit in the barrel. But I feel like there's something else in play. Um, whether it be maybe a residual honey sugar kind of thing going on. But I don't think it's lactose or anything like that. It's just something else. Just kind of give me a bit more sweetness. Like I said, it definitely could be a spirit. A fresh spirit. Like you have wrapped it into a really fresh barrel. Yeah. It's got just that super nice, soft, beautiful smoky chocolatey vanilla coconutty kind of barrel thing going on and what i i'm tasting is almost like a blended kind of imperial stout 
and uh, and a barley wine. This has Jackie O's written all over it. To be perfectly honest with you, I mean he, he's from Ohio. This is just, you know what I mean. This is almost like a like their brick kiln, um, like that kind of burn barrel brick kiln. It's giving me those kind of vibes. Um, is it gonna be Jackie O's? I don't know, but th- I haven't had anybody kind of barrel age anything this good. Um, from Ohio, other than this previous stuff that he sent me uh, from this one brewery, and it could possibly be from them because they've been the last two mystery beers I've opened from them, from him, were absolutely killer. So it could be them, or it just has kind of Jackie O's vibes all over it. So there you go. Big blended Imperial Stout with barley wine, bourbon barrel age, maybe an extra sweet component going on, but super tasty, super delicious. Does not suck, let's put it that way, so... Let's do the big reveal. It could be, it could be a Jackie O's bottle. It's one of those fatty 375s going on. So we'll see what she's got. <laughs> Gotta love mystery beers. There you go. Okay. Okay. We have the Polyseraphile one from Jackie O's. So, yeah, it definitely had Jackie O's vibes written all over it. Uh, this is a blend of bourbon barrel aged ales. Okay, that kind of makes sense. On the side here, it says polycephaly. Poly, polycephaly? Polycephaly? I'm going to settle on that one. Polycephaly is a rare condition of having two heads. In partnership with Winking Wizard, we present two distinct blends. Poly, uh, polycephaly, I forget what I even said at this point, is a fusion of barley wines. A Belgian quad and Imperial Stout. So there you go. At least I got two out of the one. Um, I get, I get that. You know what? I'm kind of pit, pissed. I didn't kind of pluck out quad too. Um, all of them beers were aged in burn barrels and carefully selected to create something astounding. Rich notes of raisin toffee, dark sweet cherry vanilla, and chocolate all come together for a truly delightful treat. So it's a, it's a Winking Wizard Tavern. So I don't think it's a brewery. Um, anyway, it's all right. You know, it's two headed. Kind of dragon thing. So I get that, you know. But yeah, I absolutely 100% am totally fantastically okay with what I said about this beer. I'm actually quite happy with myself for picking up the blending portion of the show. That's pretty much it. It's fucking, listen, it's fucking Jack Yost. It's fucking killer. They, they don't, you know, they make such great barrel aged beers. Um, from him being from Ohio and tasting it, it, it was kind of, that's where that kind of, you can yell a little bit about the beer, you can kind of guess. So, you know, I kind of assumed as, uh, as much, um, but I still didn't know. Um, but yeah, absolutely delicious. The way that kind of blend of, um, of the quad and the barley wine and the stout kind of meld together and give you a bit of those horse and malts, give you kind of that cherry, cherry from the bourbon barrel give you that nice toffee raisin datey thing from the barley wine and give you just that i think where this mouthfeel comes from then speak about the quad kind of brings that extra kind of density and heft to the mouthfeel it's a beautiful blend i love it when breweries blend different beers together and uh this is probably one of the better ones i've had in quite some time absolutely fucking delicious so let's talk about it is this one of the better big barrel aged beers i've had this late yes just that good. Plain and simple. It's fucking awesome. Uh, value and availability, I have no idea. Um, so maybe Eric can, or Mark, sorry, uh, can chime in on this. Um, I, had, I had two people. Now, I probably mess up a name, so I'm not going to feel that bad about it, but I had two people send me beer mails at the same exact time. One was from, uh, both from Ohio. I got them at the same exact time. One was mystery beer. One was not, so I'm probably like filtering. It's Eric and Mark. Mark sent these off. If I screw up, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just... It's hard. Um, uh, anyway, and... Uh, let's see. I think that's it. If you like what we like this, if you like good barrel-aged beers, done. If you like barrel-aged beers, this is up there. This is fantastic. Get it. It's delicious. So there you go. Another review of the books. Oh, let me cut back a little bit. If you like those blends, if you like the Rushing Duck Part series, if you like what Kane does with their anniversary series, that's where this one lies. So a little more specific. Uh, so there you go. Firestone Walker, too. Eh, I'll shut up now. Well in that part <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed the review down there if you want to talk about it massive beers type that in the google if you want to see me doing other stuff outside of the youtubes um if you want to see me doing specific stuff outside of the youtubes type in beer massive and you'll find me doing podcasting stuff and there you go 
Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, enjoying a beautiful blended barrel aged beer right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.